Hello, YouTubers. It is me, the J-Man63. Today, I have something a little different for you guys. That is a boot review on the Irish Setter Red Wing uh, boots. These are an excellent pair if you're a hiking, recreational type person. Um, I managed to snag these at a Red Wing for 80 bucks. About $88, $89 was fair. Um, now, these are some excellent boots. I'm going to go over some of the features that these have. Now, for all y'all who don't know, Red Wing was founded in 1905 when the Empire State Building and construction was getting started on a lot of buildings. So that's not to say that Red Wing's been around for a long period of time. Hang on a sec. Let me switch my audio. But there we go. All right. So now you can probably hear me better. So Red Wing was started in 1905. The Irish Setter Company was founded in 1950. And then they um, acquired the company in around 1950 or so with Irish Setter. And actually, the interesting part about these is these boots are rated at about 8 million steps. And I've had these forever. These have the grip lugs on the bottom. These are some extremely nice, uh, we're very comfortable um, inside. When I first got these, uh, my wedding boots had a lot of hot spots in them where my foot would get hurt. I used to wear those to work as replacement, but now these pretty much become my BF Goodrich uh, all season type uh, boots. Now these are not a steel toe or composite toe, as you can tell by the flex right there. You have the Irish Setter logo right here. They're double stitched. Inside you have a nice neoprene, um, you have a nice neoprene neoprene material to keep your foot from sweating. Now this has a scent band technology in it, which keeps your feet from smelling, even if you're working hard. Um, now this doesn't have traditional laces. This has what's called a BOA system where you push it in to pull tension on it and you can pull that wire and I'll get this wire out here. Hold on a sec. The wire's kind of sagging. So this BOA system is really, really good. Um, I've had these boots for a few months now. And from what I understand, these wires will take up to about 300 pounds of tension before they wind up snapping. Let me pull that out to release that tongue. Well, these are some very good boots, I will say. Now, a little more factoids about these. Uh, the company is, is in Minnesota and um, they own their own tannery where they tan their own US steer cattle hides. So they own their own tannery. And um, so these will last you a very long time, even if you, um, are doing a lot of recreational stuff in these. I've uh, had these on concrete for a while. And I got to say, these I wear pretty much everywhere. Um, now, people have had the BOA system for about a year or so. And they still say it's a good lacing system for what it is. Um, some people's gripe is that you have to keep on readjusting your hands. But, I mean, it is a ratcheting system, which makes this even better. Now, if you're riding motorcycles or something, these are recommended for motorcyclists. These aren't too bad, um, but uh, these are more of a running shoe style, and these are recreational for, like, if you're going through wa water creeks, that kind of thing. If you're going through a lot of muddy terrain, uh, these will stay dry. Like, I'm going to put it this way. If there was ever an apocalypse-type situation... Uh, these would probably be what I would leave the house with more than likely. Just because these are such an excellent uh, pair of boots. Um, if anything, uh, the reason I got these is I showed a picture to my mom's husband. And uh, after I bought them, these were pretty much an impulse buy, honestly. But um, I bought my friend a pair of these. And he says these are the best boots he ever owned. Um, 
hands down. These are probably the best shoes he says he's ever owned. And I just told him, I said, if you're going to invest in something, invest in your feet. So, um, but these are pretty much waterproof up to the top. Now, these are the high top. I don't know which version of the high top these are, but um, it has a nice loop back here. And of course, the loop is double stitched. Everything is pretty much double stitched and redundant. Has some redundancy in it. Now, I'll pull out the insole to show you guys. Um, it comes with a very thick insole to start with. So, and this one has started to show somewhere. Um, I do have to get a new one. However, this one's starting to show a little bit of wear. Um, a few months later on down the road, I could see getting a new insole. However, this one's held up pretty well. But if you need to, most of what you're going to be replacing is these, is the insoles. But just, you can look up how much, how long one of these would last you. But I think roughly a lifespan on these, I would replace these after a few months. When I get back to working, I'm definitely replacing these with a set of Dr. Shoals. Now the inside's held up. Most of what's on the inside is just rocks and stuff. But the scent band technology does work. Um, I'm not going to put up the boot up to my nose and sniff it, but uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, so it still smells as fresh as the day I bought it. I'll be honest. Um, the scent band does work. So if you have really stinky feet and you happen to get that toe cheese, this will pretty much eliminate that stinking. Um, now, this interior here is made out of recycled fiber. Some of this is made out of water bottles and stuff. So some of this is uh, kind of environmentally sensible. I'm not really a tree hugger, but it's kind of nice to have that recycled material in there. Of course, this is what kind of keeps your feet from getting wet now. I wear these in the summertime. These don't sweat a terribly huge amount. So that makes this even better of a buy if you're going to get these for, you know, summertime and all your all around stuff. And like I said, these are pretty much my whole purpose. So in my opinion, this wire system is excellent. It does glide effortlessly over these eyelets, which are kind of designed in a way to keep the wire from binding so the boa system is absolutely excellent if you've had an old pair of these you probably had the lace system however the boa system makes these so much better when i saw these at red wing i immediately had to get these i don't know why the money was really burning a hole and uh, these just seem like the best kind to get um like i said these have odor blockers in them which keep them fresh and um Normally, some people use sneaker balls to keep their thing their uh, their sneakers fresh, but um, these actually don't smell very bad. And I usually there's times I've been rewearing socks in these. I got to be honest with you, but um, there's times I've reworn socks in these, and for some reason these just don't really, you know, smell like terribly bad. They don't have a very bad odor in them. I think the only thing that's going to wind up stinking is the insole, but I think those even have like an odor kind of eliminating technology, probably a charcoal type insole is my guess, just to keep your feet from sweating. Um, and like I said, these are pretty much rated at 8 million steps, so even you're not going to outlast these because um, these are pretty much military, almost, these are almost military grade. If you want to really know, these are almost probably military grade boots, in my opinion. Uh, some people think Timberland is the best, but honestly, I, I think these are pretty darn good for the money. And for 80 bucks, go to Red Wing, get yourself a set of Irish setters, because I got to say, these are some of the best boots I have ever owned. Um, but that's going to do it for my review. All right. Well, Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. It was very short, but um, like I said, I can walk all day in these things. And most of the time I'm the one that's going to get worn out and not my feet. But if you have plantar fasciitis or something or a foot issue, they're really good for that. 
Um, the only thing I'm probably going to wind up changing is the insoles. I definitely want to get some Dr. Shoals in there at some point. But um, in terms of boots, they're excellent. So, all right, well, that's going to do it for me, the J-Man 6.3. I'm going to let you all go. That concludes my review and thoughts on the Irish Setters. Um, in terms of footwear, I give them a full 10 out of 10. Uh, but check out your local Red Wing store. If you feel so inclined to, make sure you support a, a company that's been around since the 1900s, pretty much. Uh, Red Wing is very good. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.